And I'm, I'm very curious to know about the pseudonym, Maddie Dawson. Yes. Tell us about that. That was a lot of fun, actually. I had written three novels under my real name, Sandy Conchelton. But they were novels that all had as protagonists younger women. And when the first one came out, they decided to slot it under Chicklet. Mm -hmm. Because that's, you know, we're in the age of branding. Yes. You know? Yes, I, <laughs> I do guess know. you know all about that, don't <laughs> well, you? <laughs> just with and the digital revolution, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, and they kept saying, what kind of book is this? And I kept saying, fiction? <laughs> <laughs> fiction? No. Right. Um, but it went into the chiclet category. And it wasn't really chiclet. You know, it wasn't Bridget Jones's diary, which I loved, of mm -hmm. course. It was more about a woman who was divorced and trying to find her way. I think really all my novels kind of are about finding the family and the people that we're supposed to be with. Yes. But th these people happen to be 26, so chiclet. And what year was that? Is that, that was 2005 okay. that it came out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, the three came out and they were sort of all about younger protagonists. And then I wrote one that was about a woman who was just about to turn 50. And she was in a long-term marriage and sort of looking at her marriage and remembering the man that she'd loved before she got married and and after she got married. <laughs> Meaning that the, they had changed, he had changed. Yes, her husband had really changed. There was a, a secret at the heart of their marriage, really. Because she was an older protagonist, they when I handed it in, they said, this isn't chiclet. And right. I said, no, it really isn't. So they were afraid that because my brand was chiclet, yeah. you know, that people wouldn't follow me. I wouldn't see. know. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they decided to give me a new name. And at first I thought, hmm, do I want a new name? You know, because I did have, you know, something of an audience that I wanted. For sure, yeah. So, you know, there were the 12 people that were <laughs> following my career. I wanted them no, to know. No, 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 no. You've sold lots and lots of books. We know that. I'm curious that why they didn't. In, in England, we have a term called henlet. Henlet. That's henlet. exactly what these are. We need to yes. have henlet yes. here. Will you I, start that here? <laughs> well, I, I sort of object to... I know. Being funneled from a chick to a hen, but, I, you know. <laughs> it's like going from miss to ma'am. But so I was curious. So they came up with it. They came up with the idea of it. And um, then they said I could pick any name that I wanted. And, and I picked every name I would pick. They would go, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, what? So finally, I picked Maddie because I was getting a little mad. <laughs> and so um, it became Maddie Dawson. And to tell you the truth... It has been wonderful oh. because one of the nice things about writing fiction under a different name is that people don't automatically assume that it happened to you and your husband. Yeah. Yes. Which has just been great, you yes. know, and on the yeah. internet, it's, you know, people aren't writing yeah. to my children and saying, did your you mother poor do thing. that? <laughs> you poor well, thing. No, I mean, I How think most, most people realize that when a writer's been writing for a, a number of years, you have to start writing about somebody else's life because... It can't all be you. No. <laughs>